What, 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 what up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game madness, folks. Welcome back to Battle Brothers. We are doing a Northern Raiders run for this campaign, guys. And the main objective of it is going to be acquiring the 100,000 crown in the treasury achievement, which is something I've never gotten. I will want to get that and kind of retire Battle Brothers after that, put it on the shelf and put it behind me for a while. Because I've been playing a lot of it recently and we've done pretty much everything that I wanted to do in it. So yeah, just before we dive in though, I want to give a huge shout out to all the new viewers and subscribers of the channel. You guys are friggin' awesome. Thank you so much for all the love and support you show me. I do hugely appreciate it, guys. Uh, it means the world to me seeing how much my channel's growing and uh, developing, so thank you for that. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to go over the builds before we dive in. This is the seed we'll be using for this map, I'll show you in a minute. Then we go, then these are the builds we're gonna be using for people who haven't seen them before. So you've got tanks, you can have heavy or light tanks. They carry their spare shields in a bag. They want 40 resolve at the very least. I try and have 40 resolve on all my bros at the very least, which then goes up to 50 when you do the arena and then goes up beyond that when they're confident and you have the bannerman buffing them and stuff. So 40 resolve is a minimum is what they need. Then you go defense and health and on heavy tanks you get fatigue. On light tanks you get initiative instead. Then in terms of perks you go on the left hand side for heavy tanks and then on the right hand side instead of battle forge for light tanks you get nimble. Instead of brawny for light tanks you get dodge. That's how that works on all of them. Then the bannerman has a whip in his bag. He gets Fatigue, Resolve, and Melee Attack every time. Sniper. Ninja. He gets, again, 40 Resolve. All Frontliners, all Bros get 40 Resolve at the very least. And then... Oh, Lance, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for joining. Dibs on the point. Which point? You want to go up front, do you? Frontliner, is that what you mean? Uh, and then for the ninja, after they've got 40 resolve, you give them attack, defense, and then you want them to have about 135 initiative. Once they've got to 135 initiative, you start pumping their fatigue instead. 135 initiative is like the golden number you want with uh, the hyena fur mantle and the light armor, the light cloak that you give them. And then you've got throwers, duelists, and then two-handers. Two-handers, again, they can be heavy or light. If they're light, you give them dodge, cleaver, mastery, overwhelm, overwhelm, nimble, relentless. And if they're heavy, you go on the left-hand side instead. Fast adaptation in brackets means if they don't have high enough attack, if their attack isn't that great and you need to give them fast adaptation to compensate for it, instead of giving them brawny, or, uh, instead of giving them brawny you give them fast adaptation instead. Instead of giving them mastery on this one, you give them fast adaptation so they can hit stuff. That's pretty much it, guys, in terms of builds. Tyler the Leper, what's up, my man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. You want to be the main tank, Lance? No worries, man. Is that just Lance or Lancer, or do you want a specific name on him? Thanks for joining, Tyler. I hope you're well today. We're starting a new campaign. Northern Raiders... So for those who don't know, the Northern Raiders start with three experienced Barbarians. We have a higher chance to get any items from slain enemies as loot, but we start out as outlaws. We start them with bad relations to most human factions. So I think two factions hate you right off the bat. Uh, we are going to be called Norsemen. Norsemen, this is the banner we're going to be using. I quite like it. It looks kind of Viking-ish. It looks like the head of a Viking ship, so we're going to be called Norsemen. Late Game Crisis is going to be the Noble War. Why the Noble War? Because it resets the faction uh, relations, and we need, uh, and that means you can go around the castles and towns and hire bros much earlier on. And that's what Battle Brothers is all about, hiring decent bros. If we uh, leave it on random, we'll only be able to hire bros from one castle, which means we just won't have very much variety. We won't have very good RNG on it. So that's why we do nobles at war. King Solomon shall be his name. Okay. No worries. King Solomon, the heavy tank. As soon as we get one, I shall name one. Name him. 
Um, we're not going to be doing Iron Man, but we are going to be doing Honest Man. And what I mean by Honest Man is... Uh, we're not going to load for anything unless we get unless we get completely wiped or get into a pickle that we can't get ourselves out of. So, feel free to read this, guys. After you and your party killed half of them, the village is finally submitted. Basically, it just talks about you slaying a village and stealing them, and then you get this monk. And he says we need to go south instead, so we'll go out, we'll strike out south. So you always, with these guys, you always start off in the north somewhere. Uh... And you have to go south to get to the southern states that'll be that are happy with you, that actually like you. If you look at relations, greens are threatening and reds are already hostile with us. So, yeah. The other reason why I chose one of the reasons I chose the seeds of the brother. The other reason I chose the seed is because it's got it's quite cool. I quite like the layout out of it. It's got a nice castle town right here, right in the middle of hostile territory that we can go to if we in when we're raiding. So we can go to that for relief, we can go to that for food and um, bros and tools and stuff. What are the perks of the Norsemen? What do you mean, what are the perks of the Norsemen? What perks am I going to give them? Or what are the benefits of it, of being the um, Northern Raiders? Uh, this also only has one road. If we look, it's just one long main road going down and through this road comes over here it links there but then carries on down here down here it's one road all the way down and all the way along and up to these two see what i mean so basically the because there's only one road leading up we are more likely to find caravans on it so uh, that's really good for this um seed that's really good for this start this this background because you want caravans, that's what you do, you feed off caravans. Um, before we start, I'm just going to save it so that we've got a start. Oh, I've got one saved here already. I'm going to save it as good. Uh, let's look at the bros then. So, we've got this guy, he's paranoid, tough. It's called Braum Ironside. He's got pretty good hit points, pretty good fatigue. He's, they're all pretty good, these starting bros. The other reason I chose this... Uh, is because I like this guy. I like his tattoos, his face tats. He looks cool. He also determined, which is great. And then we've got strong. Disloyal doesn't really mean anything. It's a bit irrelevant, really. Uh, but uh, plus 10 fatigue is nice. And then we've got the monk here, who's always got three stars in there. But 50 is pretty good roll for him. And uh, he's also determined as well. Yes, the benefits, like the other groups have gimmicks to their bands, potions, for example. Yeah, the uh, gimmick of these guys is you get more loot from slain enemies. Well, you get the same amount of loot, but you've got a higher chance of, collect of their loot falling when you kill them. But you start off with two hostile factions. So these guys are hostile to us and the reds are hostile to us. So yeah, first we need to... Uh, move you like this. This guy is going to be our runner. He's going to be our early banner. Hugo is going to be an early banner. But for the moment, we're going to use him like a runner. He's going to go off there and distract bros. And then these guys can all come here. Okay, what do we want to make of these guys? I don't think we want to make anything of these. These are not going to be late game brothers. These are mid game brothers. Early to mid game bros. They're not going to be late game bros. So what we want for them is to get as much benefit out of them as possible. With as much killing power as possible at the start early on. Basically. So all of them are going to have fast adaptations. So they can hit stuff straight away. And then I think we'll give them gifted immediately. Or adrenaline. I don't think they need adrenaline. Because they've... Yeah, I'm going to give them adrenaline. All of them are going to get fast adaptation and adrenaline. So that they can go early and kill stuff quickly. So what we want to do is we want to level up attack, defense and health each time I think. Just so they're as tanky as possible. Maybe uh, fatigue instead if they get a good roll on fatigue. 
attack, defense, and four and four. I think I'll take the four hit points. Since we're not getting Colossus, we need to pump their hit points. Attack one on defense sucks. Uh, we'll take the four hit points. Another one. This guy's just going to be a glass cannon. He's already super squishy. Take the four hit points, thank you. And one defense, that sucks. Okay. So ten defense, eight, yeah. So this is just early guy. Early beast. Earlies? No, early beast. Is what these guys are. They're all early beast. They're all really strong in the early game, but they're going to... Get, they're not going to be very good in the late game, so we're looking to sacrifice them somewhere in the mid game. Elias, Knockhart, welcome, welcome. Good evening to you too, buddy. Thanks for joining the stream. This guy's already called the Beast, so he's going to be an early Beast. Uh, and he's going to have bandages. One of them can have bandages because, you know, bandages are always nice. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come up this way. Problem is there's a watchtower here. That's definitely going to... And a watchtower there. The watchtowers are going to spawn guards. So what we want to do is we want to kind of want to come up kind of around this way and go around the watchtower and up here to see if this spawns a caravan. The thing is we've only got three days of food. We want to hit Eisten, I, uh, Finsterberg. We want to hit Finsterberg as the first place to sell, and we want to kind of loop along the road, come down this way and this way, and see if there's any caravans on the road, and come up to Finsterberg. So I think instead of going north, because there's a watchtower there, if there was no watchtower, I'd go up there and check, see if anything had spawned from up there. But we're going to go this. We're going to go south instead. Trading caravan, perfect. Get it, boys! Okay, it doesn't know they're coming towards us. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's good. Got high ground. Oh, they are coming. Okay. So he can go one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. He can get here, so I need to go here with him. Wait. We want to wait and let them come in. And then just fuck them up. Okay, they're being really weird. They don't seem to care that their mate's now engaged. Don't want this tank to go somewhere where he can, uh, you know, tank us really, really efficiently. Oh, that's good. He stepped in. So you shouldn't be able to reach us and attack. Yeah, there you go. 
We have to hack through the armor because we don't have daggers. Shame. I can see that with no damage. That would have been no damage. That oh no, he he hit us as well. Nice. And shame we got no daggers. It'd be nice to get that armor. Nice. So we got some armor. We got some wood. We got sh stuff. We got some stuff. Medicine, most importantly. Yeah, you can wear that. That's fine. That's a good start. So we're going to save under... Do I have a save under Caesar? I do. Okay. But I also have a special. Or a save under stream. I think I've got that as well. I've got so many save files here. It's crazy. Whatever. Uh, so we're carrying on along the road. How many tools did that take? It's going to take fucking five of our tools. We're going to have no tools soon. That's the problem. You start with not enough tools. You need to find a uh, thing with tools. You need to be careful. I'm not sure if this will spawn enemies like a militia or whatever. We did. Seven of them. Oh shit. There's three direwolves there as well. Alright, we need to abort. We need to get away from the direwolves in the forest. Those three direwolves will completely wreck us. Right, we're coming through these woods and we're coming to Eisenberg because we don't have enough tools. That's annoying that the militia came out and the, there were direwolves behind them. If there were no direwolves down there, I would have sprinted past them. But that would have just got us to sprint into the fucking... into the direwolves, so... Raid 4 trade, yeah. Yeah, we're going to raid four of them. That's going to be our first ambition. But having to go through these woods sucks. Instead of going along the road. We're going to go south along the road as far as we can. See if we can find another trading caravan. Really? There's no trade caravans? There's nothing. Oh, there we go. Found one, thank goodness. Okay, so they're not coming at us. Normally the, the run is if, for, um, if they're coming at us and we're, if, we out, if they outnumber us and they're coming towards us, we can use the runner to rule to pull them away. But they're not doing that. They're being annoying. Okay. No, they really don't want to come towards us. So you move to there and wait, you move to here and wait, you move to here and wait. Nope, it's not coming at us. Alright, interesting. Yeah, they're being really defensive. Wait one round, see if they do anything else. Aha! That was a mistake, fool. That was a total mistake on your part. Now we're going to crush you. I'm just going to wait. Okay. 
you just have to get in there. Couldn't that have been a kill, really? That would have made such a difference having a kill there. Punch the donkey! Hmm. More wood, some tools, some money, some good. We got some cleavers so we can find better. We got a dagger! Most importantly of all, we got a friggin' dagger! So here's the highest attack 67, 64, 65. You have the highest attack, you get the dagger. Good work. We'll put a shield in your pocket. Why not? Just in case. You can have one of them. No, that reduces your initiative again. Well, why not? One of them just in case for emergencies. I'll give you that as well. Why not do that? I don't know why. Uh, you can have these for emergencies, guys. I don't know why, but they might help. Okay, we're going back to Finsterberg. <clears throat> I'm going to save it under good. And continue. Oh, I should have killed the peasants. Oh, no, the peasants are coming from here. They're white. Sorry. I, the trumpet didn't ring, so I didn't notice anything was coming. Because they were white. So. That's not a racist thing. <laughs> it's not a racist thing, guys. When they're red, it means they're hostile. Oh, wait, what's this? Something went up this way. Maybe mercenaries? But it looks like it came from here. They came from Finsterberg anyway, so. So yeah, we're out of tools. So we need tools already. Finsterberg. So we're going to sell everything here. Apart from... Oh, God. Selling prices are abysmal. But we have to. We need... And tools are fucking... Ugh, there's never any tools anywhere. The game's already started starving us of tools, guys. Gonna sell the provisions that sell for good prices. 13 more days, yeah. We can sell the meat as well, actually. Oh no, it's all gonna go off in one day, isn't it? Oh, the bread will spoil in five days. That's 24 provisions. So in one day, this stuff's going off. Sell that for 12. I think I'll just buy that, just to make sure. There you go. I know it says 10 more days, but it's going off. Uh, buy the tools. Uh, any ridiculously cheap bros for hire. Like, stupidly cheap. 130 isn't... No, it's Conrad the Lone Wolf. That is not what I'm talking about. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man, there's no cheap bros here. There's this guy, but he's not that cheap. I was talking like 30 crowns kind of thing. Oh, there's some fucking fame throwing axes here. Of course there are. Oh, they're not that good actually. I don't think. Compared to... They're exactly the same as normal is what I mean. They just have increased chance to hit the head. Which isn't that great actually on a thrower. Doesn't really mean that much. And weapon skills build up three less fatigue. That's not bad, but I'd much rather have raw damage on them. You know what I mean? There's going to be a famed item in here as well, isn't there? No. Okay, prices here are stupidly cheap. So I guess we're going to come down to this castle here. This is where we want to be selling, Rothberg. Either that, or we want to come all the way down to the southern states and hope that Hikma, like, come, come to the first southern state like Hikma, and hope... That it has, um, what's it called? Ambush trade routes. But there's nowhere else to buy tools around here. So we're just going to keep coming this way. We're going to come further down this way. We're going to come... Thing is, the caravans, if they spawned, are like coming all the way along down around here. So... 
do we go north again? Do we do like a circle up here? Do we come up out over here and do like a circle? Do we come up to Wormfest and see if there's anything on the road between Wormfest and here? And then when we get to here, come through here again. Just do like one more circle like this. I think we can. We've got 10 days and we've got 20 tools. I think we do one more circle like this to see if we can find anything on the road. Come north. First Finsterberg company came out for something. <coughs> Few thralls, many reavers, and a drummer. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. We're going to do that. The barbarian war camp. Fuck off. We want to come along. We want to come as close to Wormfest as we can get without triggering the militia. Or even if we trigger the militia, we can just run away along the road. Okay, I see footprints, but they're gonna be... Yeah, they're coming for us. Six barbarians, some thralls and a reaver. We're gonna kill these barbarians. Because they're en route. <coughs> <coughs> Although, six thralls, that's really fucking hard. What am I doing? <laughs> This is going to be a fucking... This is a well-dangerous fight. Wait, see what he does. Yeah, he comes out down there. You're coming up here to the high ground, definitely. Because they're not coming at us. He's just going to throw at you. He's not going to charge you. You need to kill these guys fucking quickly, boys. Not like that. Shit, that needed to be a kill so you could you could back away from this guy. Want the hammer boy on him so he can get rid of his armor. Thank goodness that missed. Thank goodness he charged down here. Thank goodness he charged down there. Shit, that was a headshot. That really sucks. Headshot on the main guy with no helmet. <coughs> That might be game over, or that might be him dead. Yeah, there's the decap, he's dead. Fuck, guys. That was really unlucky that he got a headshot on him on the first attack. Guys, that might have killed us. Yeah, I think this is game. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that miss was annoying. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is probably going to be a reset. Oh, God, he double dodged. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What is he doing? Yeah, there's the kill. This guy's going to die now, and then this guy's going to die. I didn't see the Reaver. I didn't, uh, when I read what we were attacking, I only saw the Thrills. I didn't see the friggin' Reaver. He killed his mate. You can kill the Reaver at least. Ah, ah fuck off! <laughs> this is a restart anyway, guys. <laughs> I can't believe we're restarting on the first fucking fight, basically. Anyone survive? No. So, that's a good start, guys. This is what I mean by getting ourselves into a pickle. We're not, we haven't wiped. Technically, we haven't wiped, but this is a run over. Losing two bros like that in this fight is just, that's, uh, that's a no. That's, uh, that's a reload, unfortunately. So we're going to load the auto save. We're just not going to fight them. I didn't have to fight them. They were running away from us. I didn't read that they had a, a reaver. I just saw some thralls when I attacked them. Some thralls we could handle. Oh shit. Get off the road! They're just going to chase us forever. Luckily we're slightly faster than them. We found some things. Lots of auxiliaries and a few savants. Yeah, right we're going to be doing that right now. 
Well, this is bad luck. We haven't seen any caravans coming up this way. We've just seen fucking military companies. Peasants know we can't attack because they're on our side. Well, this was an absolute waste. Complete waste of time. No, we're about to get attacked by some Thors and a few Reavers. Fuck, get out of there! Oh, we got caught. We got caught. No. Well, actually, they're chasing this guy. We might be able to deal with them piecemeal. Let's see what happens. So he can go one, two, three, four. So we need to be here. But the thing is, they're not gonna. They've got throwing weapons. So they're not gonna come at us. Is the problem? We have to go next to them. Double misses. What are the odds? 65. If this guy had died, we'd have been, we'd have been set up for a really good position, but he hasn't. Yeah, now we're just fucked. Now it's just going to be an RNG fight. Yeah, stun. We can't fight fucking barbarians yet because um, they have throwing weapons, which means we have to move into them. We need to fight en enemies that move into... Ah, oh, plus that. Well, coming north is a complete waste of time, so we're just going to load it from before. This is... One of our guys has died already. Yeah, this is another fucking... I didn't need to get caught by these guys. This has been a bad start. This has been a really bad start. Let's just load from when we went north, because... Where are we? Right, we're here. That entire loop was a complete waste of time. We came up here, attacked by some guys here, and then fucked up. We could have probably taken those ones, those guys there. If I uh, if I had if I wasn't being chased by them, I probably would have tried the fight. I don't know, but yeah, let's um, go south. There's nothing north. Ooh, we found a trading caravan again, finally. Very nice. And this is what we need to be killing at this point, trading caravans. This is the only thing we're strong enough to deal with. Maybe that some thralls and a reaver fight. Maybe we could have done... If we hadn't have missed any attacks, if we'd got a perfect RNG... This is bullshit. This little high ground fuck you thing is not appreciated. Let's see if we can coax them out. Don't want him to die because he's, he's our early bannerman. I don't want to fall into the trap of losing the bannerman and then not having one. If that makes sense. Ah, oh, good. He moved off the high ground. That means this guy might move off the high ground as well. No, he's still doing the same. He's going to be exhausted soon, though. Good, he's moved back. Okay, so now we can move up and take the high ground. It's all about positioning in these fights. See there he'll have two on one, which really sucks, but we'll just see what happens what this guy's gonna do. Good, so he can he can't spear wall anymore. Oh, I hate charging him in forward like that.
Go there and adrenaline rush. That's like four attacks though, yeah. I fucked that up. Yeah, I really fucked that up. That was stupid. They've got a really annoying position here with this high ground bullshit. I'm either playing really badly or this is just like a really bad start. Like that was a stupid move. I realised I shouldn't have done that after I did it. But, you know, that's this game for you. dead. We lost the guy with the face tats. That sucks. He was the main reason I was doing it and all, but I said I wouldn't load if someone dies, so Bannermon gets that. Oh, he's just, he needs fatigue and he's just, everything else is going to be awful. Fucking 42 attack is so pointless. So he's literally here just to rally, rally the troops against Geists. That's literally the only thing he's for. He's not going to be hitting anything, that's for certain. Aha, peasants die. What have we got, seven brigands? What? What is with this? We're fucking fight. it's day fucking four. And we've got some raiders and a few thugs. That's like eight people. Seven people. That's four raiders and like three thugs. That's absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd on day four. They didn't seem to be doing the whole going for them. Going for the runner thing. They're just hiding, basically. Hiding on high ground constantly, which is just uh, making things difficult. Just even having three brothers scales are difficult to so hard is crazy in the early days. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did I lose... Oh, he died to this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? Before this guy ran away, he died. Fucking kill him, please. Thank you, fuck me. Uh, that's two losses. And then what's this shit? And the fucking, look at this, the fucking, the camps are like, oh, a few marksmen, many raiders, a leader. There's 24 guys there with a leader. And it's like day four, and we've got two bros left. This is ridiculous. Oh, we can actually go to Aldstadt, I didn't realise that. Good Amish trade routes, so selling prices here should be decent. At least that's something. Everyone's really expensive. We can get Bertram. He might be a good, um, good tank. And Halston is a cheap beggar, so we're gonna hire him. 
Flagellants just have low health. They're not very good. Rolo, the gambler, he might make a good bannerman to replace the one we just lost. Killer on the runs for 200. I'm not sure Killer on the runs are particularly good, to be honest. What do we get? Farmhand is greedy and a craven. He's just fucking absolute garbage. So please die. Mm. Houston is trash, obviously, because he's a beggar. And this guy, we got Tiny. Fucking fear of beasts. Gambler. Garbage. And Halston, it just doesn't have anything really. He just, he just me, he just meh. There's nothing. Forty hit points. He's just more fucking meat. Do 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 do. Ba do do. Early beast level up. At least he gets attack, defense, and hit points. Give him gifted, so he can get even more attack, defense, and hit points. Who's got the knife? Take that off and give it to this guy. These guys are just gonna have cleavers, fuck it. Just because we need to repair the cleavers anyway, so one of them can have the headband. One of them can be the runner, actually, but the runner's just not working. They don't fucking come at us. Alright. Drive off brigands. We're not going to do that. We're going to do a follow the tracks thing or a cargo delivery. Assendorf. Where's the Attendorf? Attendorn is there. Yeah, we'll deliver the contract. We'll do the delivery one. Since we're going that way anyway. Seven supply caravan. That we definitely want to raid, but there's fucking they're footmen. We won't we can't handle seven footmen at this point. We don't have the armor. We don't have the bros, we don't have the armor. These guys will get hacked to pieces by seven footmen. These guys will get hacked up and then it'll be two versus seven. <sighs> we have to ignore it. Even if we hadn't lost all those bros, we would have had to ignore it anyway. Okay, Raymond and Liebwin and Halfric, you're hired. Okay, we've got a night blind high initiative with one star and that and that. Ooh, we've got a three star farmhand who's hesitant. So three star with 50, he'll finish on about 80, so he's really not very good at all, but whatever. And we've got another fucking night blind gambler with just meh stars. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Just a bunch of trash, really, like literal trash. Which I didn't really want because it's going to put our fees up quite a lot. Now we're paying 102 crowns per day. And they're not going to contribute anything, they're just going to die. Who's got 57 with 50? It comes with a flail, that's quite funny. You can have bandages and that. Fuck it, why not? You've got the highest attack. Trading caravan coming from 
Realm of Tawa. Where's Tawa? Tawa is down there. We're not going to visit that for fucking ages. I might attack it. I think it's got 10 people on it. And the conscripts are so powerful early in the game. I don't think we can take that, even if I wanted to. I'm going to trading caravan. That we can definitely kill. Spear guys on the flanks. Gonna be really annoying. Yeah, they're not coming forward. This one's a doubler. Two of them, so we should have some good stuff in it, hopefully. Good decat, now you can get out of there. So you don't die immediately. Whoops, didn't mean to finish him. I forgot we had a doggy. That would have been useful to know in a couple of situations. Where's the spear guy gone? Where are you, spear guy? There you are. He's like, aha! I was hiding behind the carts this entire time. Now I can unleash my purr. Let me just get, just cut his head off. Probably should have put someone there first. Stop him from fucking me up. Splat. <laughs> there was just strange meat. Unless that was from the donkeys. I'm not getting anything here. That sucks. That sucks, sucks, sucks. Right, we want some spears on some of these boys. Early beast gets attack, defense, and health. And gifted for more attack, defense, and health. You die, peasants! You die for my experience! Oh, I could get a pitchfork out of this, actually. That would be very nice. You can stay out of it. Stop being clowns. Just come forward and accept your fate. pricks. Stop running away. This fight's going to take forever just to kill you.
There goes the only weapon. Good doggy. Hey, that's money, and I did get the pitchfork. Yay! Yay! If only our bannerman was still alive. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I guess this guy could be a dedicated backliner since. He is going to have the most attack by the end of it, since he's got this. Leewin could be an early backline. We could at least give him a whip and some accuracy. A whip and a cleaver would be good. Not whatever cleaver mastery is what I mean. Follow the tracks, please. No. Treasure in Alstat, a day to the northwest. Follow the tracks, please. Hunt down what terrorizes. Yeah, we can try that. Six Naxxaras. Oh, look at that. Level three Naxxara already. Isn't that lovely? Just going to round it. Guy's dead. Good doggy, scaring them, nice Zara. Oh, I broke it. Nice work, doggy. Kind of need to save yourself there, mate. Really, all three of you miss. I've bled to death. That's lucky. Oh no! Now the Nazara is going to rally. No, the doggy's on it. Good work, doggy do. Doggy do will save the day. Like any of these oafs. That was lucky that it broke. Really. This guy's on one hit point as well. That's so funny. We don't want this thing getting away. We want to run it down. Damn it, dog. You're blocking the only place I can get to. Now bite it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Kill it now, boys. Kill it! Oh, doggy gets the tray. Oh, and this guy survived with a missing eye. Great. <laughs> Who cares? He wanted he was supposed to die, but he survived. It's fucking hilarious. I'm a trade route, so he can sell some shit. We've got way too many provisions, so we can sell all the meat, that's for certain. We can sell these because they're worth stuff, bread's worth stuff. Four days, that'll do. Don't want the bucklers, don't want the axes. Don't want that cleaver, don't want that mace, don't want that. Whoops, didn't need to sell that, but fuck it, sell them both. We got quite a decent sum of money. The money doesn't really help much. Oh, we could buy ourselves a hunter, Torvald the hunter. 
He's an expensive hunter, but he might be really good. He's level two. I've seen cheaper hunters, but we need an early hunter. We need a sniper. If we hire this guy, there's most of our money gone. Tryout doesn't do anything. Most of our money on one hunter. Do we, do we save it and try and find another hunter? Boost that ruins. Day to the northwest. Alstat. Where's Alstat? Northwest. Alstat is back here. Do we hire this guy? There's most of our early game money gone on just one fucking hunter who might just be turn out to be absolute shit. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I'm not sure I want to carry on this run anyway. Just because we lost that guy at the start. We lost the Bannerman. It hasn't been going particularly well. I might do another run. I might either do the same... I might restart and do the same seed. Or just do an entirely different seed. I don't know. Just thinking, do we want to keep... Well, it all, it all hinges on this. If he's a good... If he's a sniper, really. If he's a good guy. If he's shit, then all our money's got... Yeah, he's just shit. See, all your money goes on one guy and he just turns out to be trash. He's not trash. He's got fairly good stats. But they're not going to stack well, you know what I mean? He's going to be rolling twos and ones. So, it's a waste of 1,600 crowns. And then we're down to 760 and we've just got one extra guy. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call it. I'm going to um, restart the, the stream... Restart the stream, restart, and uh, restart the seed, and give it another go. Let's see if uh, we can do the same, see if restarting helps. Control V, start. Because that didn't go very well for us at all. Strike south. So, what do we want to do? We want to sign our bros first. This is the early bannerman. Early banner. And then we've got early beast. He got really unlucky that he got headshot and then fucking headshot again. Well, the first he got a headshot, then he got, then they went for the decat, which isn't always a headshot, but um, we did get a bit unlucky there. So early beasts, all of them, and they all get the same. They all get attack, defense, and hit points. Attack, defense, and hit points, uh, and they get adrenaline and fast adaptation, so they can hit. Fast adaptation and adrenaline. And fast adaptation and adrenaline. And then attack, defense, and hit points. Attack, defense, hit points. On all of these bad boys. Hit points. Attack, defense, and hit points. All right. Noah, welcome to the stream, buddy. Name a bro, of course. Do you want him to be named Noah? Or do you want a specific name? So campaign under good. There's the trading caravan we want to get. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we can headshot him. Whoops. And just kill him in one to get his gear. That would be nice. That would be a good start. He's just going to exhaust himself, so that's fine. We'll just stand here and let him exhaust himself. We round it, let's see if they step forward. No, he's just going to sit there shield walling and spear walling. Mm. 
Round it again. Let him exhaust himself. Yeah, so he's exhausted now. Doesn't have spear wall up, so we're going to go for the kill. Don't know why I didn't adrenaline rush with him, I should have. Punch him to death. Oh shit, that's not good. Put the doggy out and come down. Ah, oh, you can't. I was going to say come down this way as well. Didn't adrenaline with him again. Ow, and I got hit by that. That sucks. This isn't going very well. Really? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Looks like we're restarting again, boys. I'm not losing a bro on the first fight. <laughs> oh my god, they can't fucking... What is with these guys? They even got fast adaptation. They can't fucking hit anything. Thank you, fucking hell, guys. Thirty-five percent, seventy-six. Thank you. I really messed it up by not fucking adrenalining. Yes, go for the donkey. That's a good idea, doggy. Thank you. Fuck me. That's just not worth it. We have to restart again. So, quit. New campaign. Fucking restart. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, goodness me. Oh, I didn't change the seed. I forgot to change the seed. Let's see what this seed is. Okay, the map's... The map's not great. I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like this, where they have uh, fingers of water coming into the land. Because then you have to come all the way up and round it to get round it, rather than, rather than, for example, just going between here and here. You have to come round it a lot of the times because they don't have uh, bridges across. The bros have to be fucking amazeballs for me to take this. And they're just not. They're just average. So let's go back to our other seed. Noah, yeah. Do you want me to name him just Noah or do you want uh, another name in particular? Control V. Oh my god. Let's try again. He just died on the first fight. That's so embarrassing for him. Attack. I'm going to do this over and over again. Sorry. Hit points. Attack and defense. Attack. Defense and hit points. Fast adaptation. Adrenaline. Attack. Defense. And hit points. Attack. Defense. And hit points. Fast adaptation. And adrenaline. Right, Hugo is early banner. I guess this can be you, Noah. You can be our early banner. There you go, mate. Bro named. Brom is going to be early beast. Beast. Whoops. Right, I'm going to save it now as campaign starts. And then we're just, if rather than restarting and having to redo that all over every time we die, which seems to be happening a lot, we've got the starts, we've got the save file at the start. So we can just do that and just load, load the save, the, the start, starting save file. Okay, they don't have as good a gear now, which is something, I suppose. 
He doesn't have a shield. He doesn't have a fucking spear. He doesn't have 95 armor. Which is a shame because I wanted that armor. But we weren't going to get it anyway unless we headshot him, which we didn't. Actually, some adrenaline with you. They should step forward now. And you get one attack. These cleavers are terrifying, these duelist cleavers. Ah. Fucking adrenaline for the win, boys. There it is. Why couldn't we have done that last time? What, what was so different that time? Oh, he punched him to death. Noah, you beast. You absolute monster, Noah. You just punched someone to death. Nice. We got a load of tools. That is a good haul. That is a good start. I'm going to save that under good. Because it is a good start. Or, you know, it's a start nonetheless. We've got a bunch of tools, right? You can get that. Um, you need a spear, definitely. Dagger can go on the most 67, so you, you can have this as well. Yeah. Right, last time we came up, there wasn't anything for us but whatever spawned here. Let's come up the road, see if there's anything on the road coming up this way. I know caravans don't spawn in the middle of nowhere. There might be some bandits or brigands or something. Or barbarians. No, there's nothing here. And they're gonna that watchtower's gonna spawn stuff, so let's just carry on down along this way. Four trade caravans. I'm not gonna go through the town, I'm gonna come down around it so we don't spawn the militia like we did last time. Oh, it looks like there's something on the road coming this way, maybe a caravan. Yes, there's a trading caravan here, brilliant. We didn't catch that last time because we went all the way around. Right. There's five of them. Where are they? Oh, they must be in the bushes. Yeah, they're in the bushes. Hmm. They actually came outwards. Right there. You can actually come here and spear wall just to keep him at bay. See what they do. He's probably going to move back. No, he didn't. I can definitely come up and kill him, though. Come on, you're telling me you can't one-on-one -on -one this guy? Oh, goodness, that stun miss. That would have been a nuisance. Goodness, that axe miss. That would have hurt like hell. Thank goodness, the dagger miss. Right. I need to kill you. Good kill. Adrenaline might as well. Come here. Thank you. Adrenaline may as well. Adrenaline may as well. That's a bit more like what I expected from my bros. From my early beasts. Thank you. Fucking hell. Got some wood out of that. Nothing else. Oh, a couple of um, 
You got these even though they were zero. That's cool. So this is the perk coming in. This is the get more loot kind of thing from fallen enemies. So that's good. So you can wear this and the hat. No. Wait, what's the hat's 40? That's more than this. That's only 30, so you can wear that, yeah. You can swap them like that. Okay, good. Start good raiders. Saved under raiders now. I feel like we're raiders. We're actually raiding. Ah, day, peasants, die! Die, peasants, we're barbarian Norsemen! We will kill you! <laughs> it's three of them. None of them have weapons. I feel harsh. That's so mean. These poor peasants have absolutely nothing to offer the world, and we're just going to decapitate them for a few crowns. But those crowns will help us very much in the early game. Your, your deaths will not be in vain. I swear to you. Ow! What's that, motherfucker? Yay, nine crowns! And 22 dried fruits they're gonna spoil in one day. Amaze balls. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna run to the loo quickly and get myself a drink, so I'll be right back in just a moment. Thank you so much for your patience. All right, guys, I'm back. Let's get on with it, shall we? Do, 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 do. Four peasants there. 
don't like the fact that we're heading through the woodlands. Now, we could go up to Finsterberg. I suppose the tools are cheap up in Finsterberg, so we're going to go buy some cheap tools in Finsterberg. <coughs> it's worth stopping by Finsterberg to pick up some cheap tools. They don't have any. Are you fucking kidding? See, the seeds are always different. They don't have any tools yet. And prices are still stupidly cheap. So coming here is a complete waste of time, in other words. Although there is some 65 armor for 40... For, there is 65 armor for 65 gold, actually. That's not bad. I don't think we need it, though. He's got 50 armor already, and these guys will have better than that. 65, yeah, or, yeah, or 60, yeah. Alright, it's not worth buying. Nothing here is worth buying. There's nothing here of value at all. Oh, our chap leveled up, our bannerman leveled up. Attack, fatigue, and resolve. <coughs> Student, so you can level up faster. <coughs> Different bros here, but all of them are expensive and none of them are worth it. That was a waste of time. Let's come south. Oh, nice. We found another trading caravan. Definitely going to engage that. We're all confident. I like it. I didn't see what this guy had. We're going to have to take the high ground anyway, though. Really? You're on high ground. Fuck off. Is he going to die again? Yeah, he's going to die again. He's just got a bruised leg. That means he's dead. I just can't get it right. It's so fucking hard. Just keep dying to stuff. Oh, he's going to kill him. Lucky as all hell that he didn't die. He's bleeding, he's gonna lose five more. Okay, that's fine. Bannerman got a kill, nice. We got some tools. We got fucked up though, really badly fucked up. We shouldn't have got that fucked up. He got a bruised leg, which is... Oh, reduce... Okay, I thought it was just defense, but... Yeah, he needs to sit off now, which we can't afford. We can't afford to have one guy sitting off, you know what I mean? Well, we're going to continue. Like I said, we're not safe scamming this one. We've already loaded enough as it is. It's fucking ridiculous the amount of times we've had to restart.
good. Selling prices here should be really good. Yeah, much better than they were. Definitely not buying anything from here with the fucking prices the way they are. Cheap refugee. Refugees are shit though. Butchers can be good. So can... What's it called? Farmhands. So can uh, cultists actually. I'm gonna hire these three bros. See if any of them are good. Do we have weapons for them? Yeah, you got two cleavers. He'll not comes with a knife. And he comes with a cleaver. So I think that those three would be good hires. What's that? Flagellant for 160. Militiaman for 800 isn't bad, but 800 is still a bit out of our price range right now. Especially if he turns out to be shit. Just got garbage. Cultist with fucking fear of green skins. Quick. What can we make out of him? Look at those hit points. Fucking pathetic. This guy's got range defense and survivor. Nothing going on there at all. And then this guy has fear of beasts and loyal and he's just got nothing going on either so this is just fucking garbage all of it is just garbage nothing decent anywhere surprise surprise you can have a dagger in your pocket and you three can have cleavers and you can just mob enemies <coughs> Now how much food do we have? Six days, yeah, that's fine. Any work to be done? Drive off brigands at Ramshackle Cottage east, east of Alstadt. Ramshackle Cottage East is here. Not sure if we can do that because it's a drive off. Follow the tracks for 270, that we're gonna do, definitely. Follow the tracks is the easiest mission you can get. Well, it should be seven, seven thugs, yeah. Attack them before they enter the marsh. Damn it. Yeah, this is what I didn't want. This marsh bullshit. <sighs> we can't move anywhere. There's no point moving anywhere. We're just going to let them come to us. If they come to us, they might not. Yeah, they are. That's good. We literally can't do anything but let them come to us. We don't, there's no tactics in a swamp like this. Now we just wait, hope and pray. RNGs. I could have spear walled up here with this guy actually, that probably would have been good. <clears throat> and spear needs to die. Good hits, boys. Liking that work, that teamwork. Really? Come on, fucking hit him, boys. Thank you. Can't believe you messed up missing your thug so much. Uh, this guy, we don't want him to rally that guy, basically. 
Like I said, no tactic in the swamp will let them come to you and just fuck them up. Nice, he came back enough for us to catch him. guys get the kill even though you fucking missed Are you kidding me thank you good basically damage there i didn't even take any damage in fact that was a good fight good clean fight early beast gets attack defense and hit points gets gifted for even more attack defense and hit points Attack, defense, and hit points. The reason why we're getting hit points and not fatigues is because these are going to be nimble, bros. this caravan work two days to the northeast we can't go to the northeast at all it's just not an option drive off brigands at ran shuttle cottage don't know about that now oh, i'm feeling confident let's save it and uh let's try it if we wipe we wipe but i don't think we will How's this guy looking in terms of his health? And he can go in. This is a 30, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So there was two. There was another one somewhere, wasn't there? There was one up here that was like manslaughtered something which had like a leader in it and a load of fucking raiders. This should just be thugs. Many thugs and a poacher, yeah. Okay. Let's see if they come at us. Probably won't because they've got archer supremacy. No, they are coming. No, just that guy. I don't know what they're doing. They're half, half moving out, half not. A bit confusing and weird, but whatever. Seven thugs versus eight seven thugs and a poacher. Or two, two or three reavers and seven thugs and a poacher. Oh, beautiful work, Hilmar. Beautiful work. Sets this guy up nicely to step forward and do the same to him. Shame. Bit of adrenaline rush. What am I doing? Why am I risking Noah like that? That's really stupid. Now I have to rush in and save him. Can't because that'll be a triple surround. Wait, see what they do. Yeah, he came up. Ow!
get in there, boy. Definitely adrenaline rushing there. Thank goodness he dodged. Uh, nothing too dangerous here. Although well, you're missing quite a lot of armor. Glad you have a helmet now. Good kill. Bump this guy back. Three, bump him back. Good. So he only gets one attack on you. You're done. You've got a split shoulder. Shit, so this is bad. Ba -ba -ba bad. Don't like that. Or that. Not a fan of that at all. Broken, nice. I should have daggered him, what am I doing? Need that armor. Fuck. Messed up. I was just so pleased the way the fight went. I didn't even think about the fact that I needed that armor. Nice, that went well. 101 crowns. Good stuff. Plus the money we get for actually doing the mission. There's a flail there that'll be good on someone. For um, bros without... For enemies without... Um, what's it called? Uh, enemies without helmets. This is a 55 as well. You can wear that, that's a 25. You're wearing a 10. <clears throat> right, who's got the most attack? 57, I think, is the highest. You can have a flail. Right, you boys. Red me gets attack, defense, and hit points. Fast adaptation. Fast adaptation on all the boys, so they can all hit. Not sure they're going to be alive long enough for fast adaptation to take place, but we'll find out. We're sure as hell going to find out, aren't we, guys? Well, we're here, so we'll just check in, see if there's anything else here. No, there isn't, right? It's, oh, they're no longer Amish trade routes. That means prices might be quite reasonable. No, they're not. They're still abysmal. You've got no tools is the problem. We need five. Come to Dorheim. Dornheim. Oh, nice. There's a brawler for 180 and a caravan hand for 570. We're going to hire the caravan hand because we don't want we want to get him to level 7 so you can upgrade our inventory. And we're going to hire the brawler because, you know, you always roll on brawlers in the early game because they're just fucking good. Oh, our caravan hand has lots of defense. This guy's an early heavy tank. Yeah, he's just not very good because he's faint-hearted, but he'll be an early tank. Oh no, he's caravan. He's the caravan hand, isn't he, instead? I forgot. He just needs to survive, so we'll pump his defense and try and keep him alive. Meanwhile, the brawler isn't bad, actually. He's got good attack. He's going to be our first backline guy. Early backline. Early backline, bro. Oh, we've got two of these flails. 57. Yeah, you can have a flail. That's 20. That's 20 as well. This guy, the caravan hand, can have a sword. A sword and a shield! 
And yeah, you can have the next best armor. Actually, no, the next best armor needs to go on you. Because you're more important as a bannerman. So you get the best armor after him. And actually, rather than... I'd rather give you that, like that, and put that in there. That's a bit more like it. And uh, you can swap that for that. So three guys have daggers. So you've got getting daggers now on bros. Which is good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's find a follow the tracks. No. Day to the southeast. Rothberg is down there. That would give them the well supplied bonus. And I don't think well supplied bonus changes the price of anything. So we're just going to come to Asendorn. Ah, peasants are ours. Nom 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 nom. Need to be careful with these guys. Last time he fucking smashed someone's head into the ground. This guy's missing armor. go and then we'll pounce. Pounce! <laughs> oh, that was easy. That's how you do it, you pounce, yo! Giant Dad, what's up, my man? Welcome to the stream. Ugh, we got nothing for that. Just some pickaxes to sell. Didn't expect much, but come on. How you doing? Hope you're all right. Oh, collectors. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's another hunter here for 1,100. That is a cheap hunter. I might roll on him just because he's cheap. Born in the hinterlands of West Charles Burke has spent as much time stalking beasts among the trees. Any outfit could use a dead eye such as this man. Oh, it's so tempting, but he could just be so shit. And then we spend all our crowns on just one guy. <coughs> we need tools, but they're so expensive. Another hunt down what terrorizes. And the escort, the caravan. Save scum, question mark. What do you mean, at the start? Oh, save scum the archer. No, I don't want to save scum this. I'm trying to do it, it's meant to be an honest man playthrough. We restarted the fuckload at the start because we just went terribly wrong. But that's fine, that's restarting. I don't want to reload too much. Um, I think we'll just roll on him. He's really cheap. He's only 22 per day. And he's only a thousand crowns. We can afford that. It's not brilliant if he's shit. But, you know. We could do with an early sniper. That would be really useful if he's good. 
Oh, fuck. He's a tank. What the fuck? That's so weird. I saw the triple stars and I was like, yes, he did it. 58 with triple stars. He'd be an amazing sniper. But he's not. He's an amazing tank. Yeah, this guy's a light tank. He's got good initiative with one star in it. He's got good defense. He's got good HP. This is a light tank. Jeez, I can't believe we just found a fucking light tank. Unbelievable. Fucking Archer turned out to be a light tank. That's an expensive tank, though. Really expensive tank. Fucking a thousand crowns for it when you can get like 150 like, uh, for farmhands. Really annoying. I almost, he almost did it. That was so fucking close. Triple star there, and he would have been amaze balls. Uh, so annoying. What's this guy got? Split shoulder, so reduced damage inflicted. That's fine. This guy's got bruised leg. Right, the early bannerman can wear this stuff. Oh, uh, is there a pitchfork? I haven't actually been paying attention. There could have been another good pitchfork somewhere. There's an expensive one. Oh, another shield. I'm going to buy that. Just because I want you to have a shield. For obvious reasons, because I don't want you dying. Okie dokie. Um, swap him for him. Yeah. Let's do this uh, Hunt Down with Terrorizers. It's probably going to be direwolves and it's going to wreck us this time. It's webnecks. Eight webnecks. That sucks. Eight webnecks is actually quite difficult at this point. You'd think it would be easy with this lot, but it won't be trust. And then come at us. Because it's more going to be like, more like 12 webnecks. Oh no, there's only one thing of there's only one egg, that's good. Uh, we wanna let them come to us so we get two attacks off and so that they can only web us rather than webbing and attacking, which is what they do if they um, if you move towards them. So we just wanna round it basically. Or do we wanna step forward and attack? I think we'll step forward and attack. Guy's useless here. Kind of looking for some deaths here. We need some of these idiots to go away because they're costing too much. And they're not really doing anything. <laughs> uh, 
Good work, doggy. Although he's going to make them confident when he dies. Oh, it didn't. Good. Oh, shit. Please hit. <laughs> Shit. That's the fucking light tank, it's almost dead already. Good. Get this shit off him. Adrenaline. <sighs> Good, he's off this guy now. Go doggy! Get the eggs! Get the eggy weggies! So you should be safe. That's fine. I wanted someone to die, just not the light tank. No, they're still running. Big oofs indeed. We almost had to restart this run again when we lost... Um, we almost lost one of the other bros, one of the starting bros. It's fine, I don't want to, they're not late game bros, I don't want to keep them forever, but just losing them in the first fucking fight, you know what I mean, in the first couple of hours, it's not good. You need to keep these bros alive. Just leaving it for the doggy today. Ah, oh, he didn't, uh, okay, let's, let's go help him. Doggy. Hilma died, that's fine. We found some gossamer. It's completely irrelevant when he died. Is it still stupidly expensive because the tax yeah, because those those guys are in town. 164 though, that's a bit better on prices. Oh, we're definitely selling this stuff while we're here. Sell the slings, sell the axes, sell this stuff. I'm not going to repair any of that crap. 25 for 64 seems like a good amount. Now we'll just keep it. That can sell for like 200 in some places, so we're going to keep that. So we're back to 1,200 after hiring the hunter who turned out to be a tank. Which is a bit annoying that he turned out to be a tank, but whatever. Uh, we're going to come up here and hunt for caravans. See if there's any caravans that can be killed. And if not, we're going to come down south to this place. Just a quick look up here. Uh, there, perfect. Some caravan hands.
This fight is made significantly harder by the fact that two of my bros are out, so it's five versus seven. Which doesn't sound like it's that hard, but it still isn't brilliant. Why are you acting before this guy when... You should be acting after him, surely. He's got no armour. Just let them come to us now. Couple of hits. <laughs> Didn't fucking adrenaline rush with him for some reason. Keep forgetting to adrenaline rush. gonna lose this guy here and that's perfectly fine. Oh no, unless he saves his own life, which he did. Nice. Easy fight. And we got some armor out of it. And a bit of money and some medicine. We would no tools though, we really needed tools. It's a shame. Another dagger for someone. Caravan hand can have it. This is a 50 armor. I can go on you. Yeah, nice. Early beast gets attack, defense, and health. And gifted. Yay. More attack, defense, and health. It's 5v5 because the donkeys count as units. Yeah, I know, mate. Yeah, I suppose you're right, actually. Yeah. Oh, shit. What have we got? Six Nachseras. Yeah, we can take on six Nachseras. You've got no armor, though, unfortunately. So, fucking... No one has any armor. You've got no health. Swap for him. Actually, give him that bear hat back. And you take this hat instead. Don't care if this guy dies. He's got Sphere of Beasts. Six Nasseras. I think we can handle six Nasseras. And then we can take the stuff back and sell them in Atom Dawn. One of them's going to be like a level three, isn't it? No, good. I was worried one of them would be a level three. There's only fucking six baby Nasseras. Caravan hand, or the light tank even. Not risking the early bannerman. Although he need, he's actually got a shield and he's got full armor, so he needs to go there to stop them getting on the bodies. Uh, put a doggy in there. Good work, doggy. That one can flee. I don't really care. Good. Good. 
Flawless victory, man. Yeah, you better run. Doggy might have caught him, but whatever. Caravan hand gets attack, defense, and... Health. Well... He's actually got really good defense. Oh no, it's because of that. I forgot that he had that, yeah. He doesn't have really good defense. Yeah, we're just going to use him as a caravan hand. So attack, defense, and health. And student to level him up faster. Is there a workshop here? Is that a workshop? Leather Tanner. Beekeeper, ruins. I suppose we could come up here, check if there's caravans. If there isn't, come down to here and then come across to Rothberg and pick up tools. It's just it's so dangerous running around without armor. Supply caravan from our friends. An enemy says this shouldn't be taken lightly. Just go close enough that you can see along the road. For a caravan. Trading caravan. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, there's only three of them. Fucking brilliant. Or four of them. Yeah, there's four of them. This guy's fucking terrifying, though. He's got an arming sword and a shield. He's going to do serious work. Doesn't have a helmet though, does he? So Volkart can go after him. Problem is this guy doesn't have armor, so I can't use him. We need to go by tools badly. hit. Go with the arming sword. It's fucking terrifying. Owie. Raymond just got stabbed in the face. Shield wall. Ouch. This is why you have to kill him. You have to headshot him, mate, or he's going to kill you. Shouldn't have moved him next to the army sword. Oh, we got him. Thank fuck for that. We got him. We got the armor as well. And we got the sword. Fucking A. Fucking A we did. Right. Did we get any tools for that? I don't think we did. The 95. 62 out of 95 is going on this guy immediately. Then 65 is going on... Might as well go on you, the early bannerman. Then you've got a 35 that can go on one of these bros for the moment. That 55 can go on this guy. Although it's broken at the moment, so it can't, so. Um. Uh. 
Who gets the shield? Probably you do. And the arming sword. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, what's the damage on the arming sword? 40 to 45. What's the damage on this axe? Yeah, we want this arming sword on someone. Put it on you. Uh, where is it? Who has it again? You. Put it on you. And then the hammer can just go on one of these bros. 53, 55. Hey, or whatever, you can take it. And another dagger for someone. Early back lining gets attack, fatigue, initiative. He gets fast adaptation. This guy is just me, gets attack, defense, and hit points. And he's got adrenaline, so now he gets. Not adrenaline, sorry, he's got fast adaptation, so now he gets adrenaline. Okay, let's come back to. Let's come down to this place. No, don't go through the town. Company gain renowned. Oh, nice. We've got more peasants to kill. Might as well. We get experience and crowns for doing this. Don't care if these bros die. I'd rather not lose them in a simple peasant fight, but don't particularly care if they die. He really needs some tools pretty badly. Love this guy's face work. His face tools are so cool. And this guy's as well. They're both awesome. Uh, finish. I don't want Volkart to die to a fucking pick to the face, so what are you, where are you going? Come back here, you little bastards. Seriously? You're gonna run away like a bunch of dickheads? Oh, fuck you. Alright, we're just gonna charge onto this guy. Should have adrenaline rushed as well, actually. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know what I'm doing, I'm rushing it. Yeah, that sucks. Fuck you, what were the odds of that? Fucking 28%. Fuck off. Die, you prick. Eh, yeah, some money. And another dagger. All these daggers are quite useful. That guy leveled up from killing peasants. Right, we need to go back and get tools. No, come this way, please. Follow the fucking... Follow the hills. Don't go on the road, because you'll... Oh, a trading caravan. I just need to save it, because I haven't saved it. I need to save it, just in case. I don't know why, but I just feel better when it's saved. Right. Uh, eight of them. That means there's probably six of them, which really sucks. Yeah, six of them, and they're quite well armed. That guy's got a proper axe. That guy's got an arming sword, and we've got no fucking armor. This is not good. We may have bitten off more than we can chew here, boys. 
He doesn't have a helmet though, so we're going for him with the flail guy. Fuck, that's annoying. Still got a bruised leg now, huh? Well, I might be able to take him piecemeal. This guy's got the most armor. So you come here and finish. You come here and finish. Come here and finish. Here and finish. Come here and finish. Come here and finish. That axe can just one shot one of us if it hits us in the head. Maybe we need it down here, I get the feeling. Decapitated him. Come down here, Billy. Please come down here. Fuck. This has gone horribly wrong. Or has it? Who knows? It's mysterious ways. Get on this guy. This is a sacrificial move. He needs to get on him so that he can't get on this guy and kill him. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. <clears throat> now this guy can get on this guy. I wanted to get him headshot him, but it's just not working. We need to kill him. Don't want to move him into a double surround when he's barely got hit points. Uh, you know, because again, we don't want to lose you. Good, that broke him. Good, we should be okay now. Should have adrenaline rush. Got it. That's fine, Sue so sacrificed two of them. Good. Some wood, some meat, loads of medicine, that's really good. Medicine and ammunition, I wish it was tools. You got loads of medicine and ammunition, but no fucking tools. Which really sucks. Good, we sacrificed the two that we didn't care about, that we wanted to die. Mm. You can now keep proper shields in here rather than the shit ones. This axe is just going to sell. Daggers. Who needs a dagger? No one. Okay. Alright. So level up on the early banner. Attack, fatigue, and this. Finish and resolve. We're going to hold off on rally the troops until we get the, put the um, ambition for it. So we're going to get Steel Brow now on him. Light tank gets defense, initiative, and HP. Uh, and they get Colossus. Did I save it? I don't remember. Coming back to Asendor, and then we're going south. Oh shit. See, this is why I save it often and frequently. I don't have the auto-pause mod 
Which means we just ran into a fight that we can't do. Um, we can just retreat, or we could just retreat. But they've got dogs, so we can't just retreat. So we're just going to get fucked here. We're going to get absolutely ruined here. And I'm probably going to leave it there, guys, and then just reload tomorrow. When we... Um, I was about to say I'm getting uh, a bit fatigued and it's probably going to make me cause a mistake. And it did. I walked straight into a group of 12 fucking Billmen who we can't defeat. So I'm going to end the stream just after this battle, guys. We're probably going to lose it and get absolutely crushed. And then we will load it from that save I just made a few seconds ago. I don't even know why I know I'm fighting this. There's no way to, no way you can defeat this many. There's just no way to do this with with what we've got right now. This is a run from your run for your fucking life fight. Yeah, he's fleeing. He's got no armor. He's dead. He's basically dead. Well, guys, it's been a fun run. I've really enjoyed it. I'm going to carry on this tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning, we'll be back with some more War Tales. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll pick up where we left off on this Battle Brothers run. Not walking into these guys. We're going to fucking go south instead. I know I could be playing this better, but no matter how I play this, we're going to lose. So I'm just walking in and and die. Just for your entertainment, you can watch our entire squad get hacked to pieces by these fuck nuggets. Last to die is the caravan hand. Oh, the light tank, actually. Oh. Yeah, that's game, boys. That's game. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will pick up where we left off. Where I saved it. This one. Where is it? It's down the road, so it's here. We know that the fight's coming here. So we're just going to go south instead to uh, Thingy tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon we'll be back, guys. Hopefully I'll see you there for that. If not, I'll see you in some other content I produce. I make content almost every single day. So, Sal, wait till next time.